Topic number four is Canelo Alvarez is now the middleweight king. This guy unified, unified all the middleweight belts with his 11th round knockout of Caleb Plant just this past weekend. An impressive fight as well. Yeah, Canelo, even though the, the fight went 11 rounds, you know, 11 out of 12, he knocked him out in the 11th round. Canelo was in control of this fight the entire time. Um, so I think it's more about just talking about what does this mean for boxing? Um, you know, Canelo is obviously, you know, some folks think he's the best pound per, for, uh, pound per pound fighter, you know, in boxing right now. Um, certainly entertaining, knocks guys out, um, goes the distance a lot. Um, so I think, you know, Canelo is good for the sport of boxing. It, it's funny, though, when you see, you know, he's the undisputed middleweight champ because he's got the four belts. It's, it's almost just crazy that there's now four belts. Now, so if you go back and look at, you know, other undisputed champs, it's a lot of them are heavyweight. So it's, you know, it's Muhammad Ali, it's Mike Tyson, it's, you know, Evander Holyfield, it's Lennox Lewis, uh, going way back to Rocky Marciano, Brockton's own. Um, and then uh, more recently, Roy Jones Jr., who uh, was the, I think he was a light heavyweight undisputed champ, but also won the heavyweight title, um, you know, later on in his career as well. But, you know, you've got four belts now. It's so crazy because some of these other fights, you know, when boxing in its heyday was probably, you know, from 67 to 83, they just had the two. They had WBA and WBC. And that was boxing's heyday, 60s yep. to like late 80s was just everybody loved boxing. It meant something to be the heavyweight champ. It meant something to be the middleweight champ. You had Ali, Frazier. You had, um, you know, all the middleweights with Marvin Hagler, who we just lost a few months ago. You know, you had all these great fighters in that time frame, and he just had two belts. Now you have four, and it's almost like, and it's a kind of a cool picture when Canelo's got the four belts, but you're like, this is kind of getting ridiculous that you have all these yeah. different belts. So, you know, on the one hand, I think Canelo is a phenomenal fighter. He's going to go down as as a top 20 fighter probably ever. Um, and I'm sure he's got more to, to, to do, too. I mean, a lot of people are asking now for a third fight, a trilogy fight with Triple G. Um, but, you know, I, I just keep being reminded of, you know, is this where boxing is going, where you have four belts that you have to worry, almost, you know, kind of think about when you've got one of these title fights going on? Well, hey, here's a couple of other names for you from the heyday of boxing. Sugar Ray Leonard, Duran, Hagler, Hearns. Like you said, those were really the best years of boxing, man. Everybody loved watching them. And I think boxing actually fall, fell off for a while. It's yep. now starting to try to make its way back, you know, with the likes of at first with Floyd Mayweather trying to push hard with his promotion. Then you had, you know, you, you, know, you bring up Canelo, you have Triple G. You've got the young Ryan Garcia now, who's a great up-and-coming champion. So there are some new champions. You know, you got Gervonta Davis, the Tank Davis. There's some young new guys that are trying to bring the life back into boxing. Canelo Alvarez is crazy. He's been around for so long that he's he's still young. He's still one of those young guys. But like I said, we, he's been around yeah. for a long, long time now. I, I think going back to when he lost to Floyd Mayweather, that seems like it was like decades ago now. It was so right. long ago now that he's become such a better fighter since then. He's had a whole new career since then, to be honest, and he's been dominant since then. This guy, I believe, is 57-1 and one now at this point and really dominated that fight with Caleb Plant and showed that he is the middleweight king right now. And like you said, I mean, we, he had four belts. He couldn't even hold them all at one point. They needed to take a few minutes to figure out how he was going to hold all the belts before they could even take those pictures, man. It was yeah. crazy. And so that was the joke going around, but that's a hell of a thing. That's a first world problem to have when you have all the four world championship belts around your neck and you're trying to figure out how to hold them. I think to answer your question, it comes down to the moolah, the greenery, the money, baby. Yeah. The more championships there are, the more fights there are, the more pay-per-view there is, the more greenery there is to dish out. And so I think that's why you have the four world titles now, but it, it's hard to be able to unify them and get all four of them together. This guy has done it. And like I said, not the first to be able to unify a weight division, but most recently one to do it with in dominating fashion most recently. And Canelo Alvarez is a great champion. In my opinion, I did get upset when he ducked triple G for a few years there, 
knowing that Triple G was in his prime, was much older than him, and that if he waited a few more years, Triple G would kind of lose a little bit of steam. That's when he fought Triple G and beat him at that point. So I quickly have to bring that up, how he was ducking Triple G for a few years because he did not want to fight that guy, knowing that he could possibly get another L, and that would derail his career probably for good. And hey, smart, smart move when you look at it now, right? But people are still going to bring it up that you ducked him for a few years. So I think that's why people are also calling for maybe to have that third fight come up with these guys and have the trilogy fight between Triple G and Canelo Alvarez. I love both fighters. I think they're both excellent. So I, I think that would be a great fight to have. But just quickly before I pass it back, we were just covering the Mexican Grand Prix and how Sergio Perez is such a superstar there in the country of Mexico. Honestly, they treat him like a god. They treat Canelo Alvarez in that same light. I'd be really wondering who's the bigger superstar in Mexico. Is it Canelo Alvarez or is it Sergio Perez? I've got to go with Sergio Perez in my opinion. Yeah, I think you're right. I think now being an F1 driver probably carries a little more prestige, um, even though Can uh, Canelo is now the undisputed um, uh, middleweight champ. But, um, yeah, I think you're probably right. I think it's Perez. I just think there's more marketing opportunities for F1 drivers. There's just so much more that they're, ex you know, they're exposed to so much more as compared to boxing now. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you go back to, you know, his first fight with Triple G, like you were talking about, too. The first fight was a split decision. And a lot of people thought it was a controversial split decision. A lot of folks thought that Triple G should have won that one. I think it was 2017. They come back in 2018. Again, they go the, I think they went the distance, but Canelo won, you know, in, in the decision there. And everyone agreed that that was the correct decision. But, you know, it's one of those uh, fight series that there's been some controversy. So we, you know, see a third fight between these guys, I think would be a big ticket item for a, a lot of boxing fans. I mean, right now, Canelo, he's 31. So like you said, still sort of in his prime as a fighter. <laughs> I can't remember how old Triple G is, but he's definitely older than 31, like you mentioned. So yep. uh, they got to make that fight happen soon if, if it's going to happen at all. Because uh, yep. you just don't know how much longer uh, Triple G is going to be around. Because a lot of folks would want Canelo to fight Floyd Mayweather again, but Mayweather's probably done. So, you know, it's it's just not going to happen. So you want to, that, that's, you know, two you know, the best fights are between two of the greatest fighters, you know, in contrasting styles and all that kind of thing. So if you want another huge payday, another great fight, you have those two guys fight in a, you know, a, a rematch for the third time. I think that would be huge. We saw it with Fury and Wilder in the heavyweights, you know, for the third time in their, in their, in their uh, triple match there. And uh, hopefully we see it with Canelo and Triple G. And that's going to do it for topic number four. We're going to move on to topic number 